Thanks, man. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, the guys from Eaton are here, Mr. John, and he's going to show us a brand new product which conforms to a new electrical safety code I bet you you didn't even know existed. So, Mr. John, thank you for joining me. Well, thank you for having me. Came all the way out here to Texas, and this product here, I've seen it a year ago, and I wanted to tell you guys about it so bad because it's got some really cool features. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So this, at first glance, looks like an average, everyday power strip, but you'll notice it's got some very peculiar features that I haven't seen before on power strips. One of them is this cord that's wild. It's, it's a huge diameter, as big as my thumb. And then take a look at the plug. You guys are probably noticing that this little guy down here is a little unusual. It's got a redundant ground. So John, what is this power strip? What is, what's the electrical safety standard, first off, that this thing conforms to? Because I have never seen a power cord that looks like that before. Sure, sure, sure. So the safety standard that this uh, power strip is certified to is UL2930. And UL2930 basically means that it has a redundant ground system. So what and it's actually doing it. it's actually bringing that redundant ground from the actual receptacle all the way out to the strip itself. So all the outlets here are uh, backed by a redundant ground system. And this, the power strip, first off, it, it feels heavy, like considerably heavy. And when I first picked it up, I was confused because it, you, when you pick up a product and it's heavy, you automatically think quality, guaranteed. And I asked them, is there, there are large bus bars in here for the grounds? Because there has to be, right? Yes, correct. Okay. So each one of the ground system will have a bus bar. And this cord, this is a very special cord. So it's not just a thick outer insulator. This is a thick cord because? It has four conductors on there for the three main conductors. And then it has uh, the secondary ground. Okay. The fourth conductor. Interesting. So this plug right here, you can see it's got a sideways configuration. So if you have correct upright or in medical facilities, the uh, inverted plugs, it's got a sideways orientation and check out the profile on that plug. You can actually get a very comfortable grasp on it. And since you have a redundant ground, you're gonna have extra plug retention that you wouldn't normally experience in an outlet. And because it's got a sideways configuration, instead of normally pulling it straight out like you normally would, you would actually cantilever it by grabbing onto the cord. So you're supposed to grab onto the plug and pull it straight out. That's correct. And this, you know, it's, it, it's very dense. Yes. Extremely dense. And the cord is heavy. How long is this cord? Uh, that one's 15 feet. Okay. And, and, and do you have different lengths for these? We do. We off, we'll offer them in all of our specialized uh, different feet. So six foot, okay. 15, and then we, uh, we might come out with a shorter one that's like two feet and seven feet. And what about the outlet configuration? Do you only have four outlets or are no, there? We'll, we'll offer them in, in also, this is a four outlet, we'll offer them in a six outlet version too. Okay, interesting. And guys, I, I know you're gonna want me to pop these open and take a look at them. One of the things that I've always appreciated about triplet power strips is that they use really durable polymers on their outlets. So compared to some of the competing brands, after a little bit of use, the wear and tear, you'll start to notice it around your plug openings. I've never had that problem with the trip lights. I also see some mounting ears. Uh, this model here, they are sealed off, um, but are, do you guys plan on having open mounting holes? We do, yeah, we, we plan on having them. Um, for the second round, so uh, most likely in when you guys do purchase them, they'll have the holes prepared and ready okay. for uh, ready for mounting. Excellent. There are obviously uh, the traditional trip light uh, mounting options on the rear if you choose to do other type of mounting configurations, but uh, this is the uh, model PS-415. HGDG. I'll leave the information in the description below. It is on sale right now, right? Correct. Okay, so they do have them in inventory. And uh, I was thinking, you know, this would be like a, a, a massive power strip for use on, let's say, a crash cart or something if you wanted to hard mount it. 
because it's so durable. You don't have to worry about the wear and tear, plus the redundant ground. Some of those uh, facility uh, outlets that you're gonna find, they might have complications with one of your grounds, but now that you have redundance, Right. It's twice as likely to get rid of, I would say even around EEG, where you have a lot of uh, maybe ripple or something that can affect the patient's outcome. Um, with the redundant ground, you can guarantee that you are getting the best possible ground for all your accessory equipment in, so let's say, your EEG department. But guys, I'll leave the information in the description below on this. You can also purchase these through Fulby Medical. We do sell them. We are a Triplight retailer, which is why the guys from Triplight are here today. And you can also take a photo of your space that you're trying to uh, fulfill with an outlet with the Fulby Now app. And we will go ahead and figure out what type of power strip that you guys need for that type of environment. And so go ahead, download the Fulby Now app, use it. And if you want one of these, go ahead and write me jbarber at fulbymed.com. I'll get you a white paper or more information on this. And guys, we have other videos planned in the future which highlight all the different power strips that AAA provides because I know it can be a little confusing. We are gonna go through, we're gonna do the work, we're gonna show you all the product lines and why you use them with what electrical safety standard. We're gonna do it, coming up soon. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thanks.